digestive system. Let's recall. 1. What happens to the food we eat inside our body? The food we eat undergoes digestion. 2. Does this food mix as it is with the blood? No. Food does not get mixed as it is with the blood. Conversion of food into a soluble form and its absorption into the blood is called digestion. The digestive system consists of the alimentary canal and digestive glands. The total length of the alimentary canal is about 9 meters. Its main parts are the mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. The salivary glands, liver and pancreas are the digestive glands connected to the alimentary canal. Different organs of the digestive system systematically perform the function of digestion. There are different stages in the process of digestion of food and at each stage there is a different organ of the digestive system which performs its specific role. Let us study the structure and function of each organ of the digestive system. Teeth The process of digestion begins with the functions of the teeth in the mouth. There are four types of teeth, namely incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Each type of tooth has a specific function. Each tooth is covered by a hard substance called enamel. Enamel is made of a calcium salt. Saliva contains an enzyme called tylen or salivary amylase. Tylen converts starch into a sugar called maltose. Use your brain power. During digestion, does all the food that we have eaten get converted into useful Nutritive substances? No. During digestion, only the nutrients are absorbed in blood, while rest is excreted out from the body in form of waste material. My friend, the Internet. Collect information about the various organ systems from the websites www.lifescience.com and www dot innerbody dot com learn a new word enzymes are substances secreted in the body of an organism which bring about specific chemical reactions they act as catalysts digestive enzymes of the digestive system bring about changes in the food materials metabolic processes are impossible without enzymes Enzymes are a specific type of proteins. They are most active at normal body temperature. Digestive system Mouth Digestion of food begins in the mouth. Food is chewed with the help of teeth into very small pieces. Salivary glands Saliva is produced in the salivary glands in the mouth cavity located in front of the ears, near the pharynx and below the tongue. It is carried to the mouth via ducts. It is mixed with food during the process of chewing. Pharynx or throat The esophagus and trachea open into the pharynx. Esophagus It is a tube leading from the pharynx to the stomach. It pushes the food towards the stomach. Stomach The large sac-like part of the alimentary canal is called the stomach. The gastric glands of stomach secrete gastric juice. Food that has entered stomach is churned. Three components of gastric juice, namely hydrochloric acid, Pepsin and mucus are mixed with food here and it becomes acidic. Mainly proteins are digested in the stomach. 
due to the churning and the action of gastric juice, food becomes a semi-solid slurry which is slowly pushed into the small intestine. Liver The liver is the largest gland in the body. It has a rich supply of blood. Its main function is storage of glucose. The gallbladder is situated below the liver. It stores the bile, the digestive juice secreted by the liver. When bile is carried into the small intestine, it mixes with the food there and helps in the digestion of fats. Bile contains bile salts. Pancreas The pancreas secretes the pancreatic juice that contains various enzymes. Small intestine The small intestine is about 6 meters long. Most of the digestion and absorption of food takes place here. Three different digestive juices are mixed with the food in the small intestine. Absorption into the blood of nutrients obtained by the digestion of food also occurs in the small intestine. Large intestine The large intestine is about 1.5 meters long. Only water is absorbed in the large intestine. A small part called the appendix is attached to the first part of large intestine. Undigested remains of the food digested in the small intestine enter the large intestine. Undigested material is thrown out of the body through the anus. Important glands of the digestive system, their secretion and functions. The table here shows organs, glands, their secretion and functions of the gland. Mouth, we have the salivary gland here. Secretion, saliva, tylen. Function is conversion of starch into maltose. Stomach, the gland present is gastric wall. Secretion, gastric juice, hydrochloric acid, Function is to make the food acidic. Pepsin. Function is breakdown of proteins. Mucus. Function to protect the inner lining of the stomach from hydrochloric acid. Next gland. Liver. Secretion. Bile. Function to make food alkaline. To convert large fat particles into small ones, that is, Emulsification of fats. Next gland, pancreas. Secretion, pancreatic juice. Trypsin, function is to convert proteins into amino acids. Lipase, function is to convert fats into fatty acids and glycerol. Amylase, function is to convert complex carbohydrates into simple sugars. Next organ, small intestine. Secretion here is intestinal juice. Function is to convert proteins into amino acids, to convert complex carbohydrates into glucose, and to convert fats into fatty acids and glycerol.